Hi, I'm Jessica Smith with Exercise TV, and this is Six Steps to Sexy Legs. I want to share with you my top six exercises to help you build a strong, sexy lower half. Now, our first move is going to travel, so I want you to scooch back just a little bit. Feet are together. We've got a traveling diagonal lunge. So you're going to step out on the diagonal, knees and toes stay front, lunging forward. Down, come up. Good. Do it again. Lunge, come up. Two more to the front. Down and lift. Give me one more, then we're going to go backwards, coming back the way we came. Take it back. Corner and push through your heels as you come up. You're engaging your abdominals on the way back so your body stays nice and steady. Two more. Good. Last time, then you're going to repeat what you just did. Ready? Coming to the front. Deep lunge. Good. So by traveling on the diagonal here, not only are we working the front and back of the thigh, we're also getting to the inner and outer thighs as well. So you're really getting a full, rounded, sexy leg. Take it to the back. Down. Push. Abdominals help you on the way back. Down. Push through that heel. Two more. Take it back. Push it up. One more time. Let's go. Coming down. Push it up. Great job. Okay, next move, you can come a little bit closer to me. Feet hip width apart. Arms are up. It's a Y squat. Sit back nice and slow. Come down. One, two, push. Good. So I'm thinking about pushing through my heels as I stand up. I want you to squeeze through your glutes. A squat really hits all the muscles in our lower half. And holding our arms in this Y position adds an additional balance challenge, which is gonna engage our core muscles. Good. I want you to give me one more, then we're gonna up the tempo. Here we go, make it a little bit more powerful, a little bit faster. Down, up, good, arms stay strong. Yeah, you can feel those shoulders working a little bit too, right? Push through the heels, down, good. Come on, picking up that heart rate. Beautiful. Give me four more to finish right here. Four, three, two last time. Way to work. Good. Okay, moving on from here, we're going to step to the side with a lunge. One arm reaches up, opposite leg is going to lunge out to the side. So we're going to come down and up. Now I want you to touch the floor with your fingertips right outside of that foot that's lunging. Come down, press. Good. Again, big reach. And lift. Sit back in those hips. It's the leg that's lunging out to the side that's doing all of the work here. Hold. Good. And up. Good. So we're not only changing our movements, but we're also changing the direction that we're moving our body in. Moving forward, backward, and side to side. Helps us hit those muscles from all different angles. Give me one more, then we're going to switch sides. Take it out, go right into the other side for me, change it out. Let's go, reach, push and hold, good. So I'm often asked, especially by women, how do I hit the inner and outer thigh area? This is a great move to do it. Really targets the inner and outer thighs on that side reaching lunge. It's also a nice big movement, so you're also gonna get your heart rate up here because you're working harder through a larger range of motion. Good, again. Really get to that floor. I want to see your fingers tapping outside of that foot every time. Yes, make it full, make it big. Super strong. Four more to finish this side. Up. Good. Come on, you can do it. Last two. Cross. And up. One more. Way to work. Okay. Our next one's called a pendulum plie, and it's pretty challenging for balance. So if you need to, you might want to pull up a chair to hold on to for extra support. You're going to hinge forward, line between your fingers and toes, and I want you to bend your knee. Down, push up. Now I'm looking at the floor so my neck stays relaxed, and I can concentrate on my balance. Abs in tight. Yeah, it's okay if that leg is a little wobbly, a little shaky. That just means it's working. Down. Reach, good. Nice and controlled. Now I want you to go a little bit faster, single it up. Lift, down, push. Good, yeah, if you need that chair, go for it. Abs in tight, that'll also help your balance. Working all the way down through the ankle muscles. Good. 
Okay, I want you to just go ahead and switch back to that other side. We're gonna go back to that slower tempo. Ready, let's go, slow it down. Good, now why do we wanna strengthen something like our ankles? Well, if you like to wear high heels, it's important to have a strong ankle. You got the entire weight of your body bouncing on your heels. You need some ankle strength for that, right? Good. And all that work travels all the way up the leg to your hip. Good, come on, breathe. I know it doesn't look like much, but we're really working, aren't we? Let's go for singles. Quick tempo, down. Push to that heel. Yeah, you're starting to feel those glutes working too. Amazing how many muscles are involved in balance. Abs in, come on, stay with me. You're almost there, breathe it out. Good, let's wrap it up in four. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, that was a tough one. Now let's go ahead and come down to the floor. I don't know about you, but my legs could use it. Just softly lower yourself down. Moving on to our next move, quadruped hamstring curl. You're on all fours, abs are in tight, extend one leg back. So you're gonna come up, lift, curl, out and down. Good, now make sure that your hips and shoulders are square to your mat. Try not to lean to the side. This is really a fantastic move to target the backs of the legs, getting into your hamstrings and your glutes. Now stay up here with me. Let's go a little bit faster, just give me the curl. In and out. Yeah, I want you to picture your favorite pair of short shorts that you've been saving in the back of your closet all winter. This move is for them. Good, pull it in, pull it in. Squeeze. Aha. Uh -huh. Last four, then we're gonna switch legs. Four, three, keep that knee up. Two, one, way to go. Switch it out. Let's go back to that full curl. Here we go. Up, in, out, and down. Square it up, abs in. Good. Now, just because we're focusing on the lower half here doesn't mean our upper half gets to go to sleep. I don't want to see your elbows bending or melting. Push away from the floor. Chest is engaged too. Good. Lift. Excellent. Now, go ahead and stay up here. Let's go single counts. In and out. Keeping that knee up. Really think about squeezing your heel in towards your body every time you're curling. Beautiful, that's it, come on, stay with me. Breathe it out, right here. Last four, let's go. Four, three, two, one, good. Come on down, go ahead and lower yourself all the way down to the floor. We're at our last move, it's called a frog. Stacking the hands, heels together, knees open. You're gonna push your heels up, come down. Now I stole this move from my Pilates routine because it's so effective. We're getting deep into the glutes, also working those hamstrings. Yeah, and just flexing those feet also engages the muscles through the shins. Good. Now, can we go a little bit faster? Let's go for singles, down and up. I want you driving your heels straight up to the ceiling, push it. Raise the roof with those heels. Left, good. Yeah, feeling those glutes. You got it. All the way up. Excellent. Last one right here. Great job. Just go ahead and extend your legs back. And let's push our hips back towards our heels. Just press it back. And bring yourself up to a seated position, just crossing those legs. Let's stretch through the outsides of those hips. That was a fantastic job that you just did with those legs. Let's take the legs out, stretch the backs of the thighs here. Just wrapping it up. Good. And coming back in, inner thigh stretch. Bottoms of the feet together, let's open those knees. Great job. Coming back up from here. Let's just do a little modified straddle stretch. Walking the hands forward, opening up through your hips. And switch sides. Way to work. And that was the six exercises you need to help build a strong, sexy lower half. No weights required.
I'm Jessica Smith with Exercise TV, and that was six steps to sexy legs. New workouts are added every month. Download and work out today at exercisetv.tv/studio.